In this video, we're going to be looking at limits algebraically. So how do we find a limit if we don't have a picture to follow in and figure out what's the y value for when our x value gets near a certain number? So without a picture, the easiest thing that you can do to find a limit is to just try to plug in the value into the function when you can. Um, and this is going to work as long as you have something continuous, which we're going to talk about continuity next. Um, but we're just going to practice plugging into functions. So this first piece here, we have the limit as x goes to 3 of x squared. So we're going to take and we're going to plug in that 3 into the function x squared. So I'm going to replace that x with a 3 in parentheses squared. And I always recommend putting in each x value in parentheses um, because if it's a negative number, the parentheses matter. So we have 3 squared, which is 9. And we're done. We don't have a picture of what this looks like. You might remember from algebra that x squared is a parabola. And on this parabola, when we get near the x value 3, the y value is 9. So if we had a picture, we could follow in from the left and the right, and both fingers would lead us to the y value 9. So we can do that again. Try plugging into this next one. I would replace each x with a 1 because it says the limit as x goes to 1. So I'm going to do 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3 and see what we get. So 1 squared is 1 plus 2 is going to give us 3. Minus 3 is going to be 0. So it's another x squared function. We could draw a parabola and see what that looks like. But the idea is to maybe not have a picture for that one. This next example is a bit more interesting, though. We want to plug into what's called this piecewise function, f of x. We're going to plug into the function x inside of the absolute value. So we're going to take the absolute value of x plus 1. As long as the x value is not 2, we'll plug into that. So if it's x value 4, plug into the top piece. If it's x value 0, plug into the top piece. Any x value that's not 2, plug into the top piece. But as long as x is 2, we're going to plug into the bottom piece, which just says the y value is simply 5, always, for x is 2. So let's check out the limit that we're taking and keep this piecewise in mind. So we have the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x. So we want to figure out where are we allowed to plug in 2. Would you plug in 2 to the top or the bottom piece according to the rule? It says plug into the top piece when x is not 2, but the bottom piece when x is 2. So we're going to plug into the bottom piece, which just says that the y value is 5. Well, let's see if that's true. Because if this method of plugging in always worked, then there would only be one method. So let's draw a picture and see what happens when we compare. So it, we think it should be 5, but if we draw, what do we get? Let's go off to the side here. And we want to get near the limit as x goes to 2. So we don't need to plot from like negative 10 to 10 in my x values. I might just plug in 1 two, and three, right? We want to plug in values near two, but not necessarily at two. So to figure out what the y values would be, we can make ourselves a little x, y chart. When x is one, what's the y value going to be? Well, when x is one, we plug into the top here. So we'd take the absolute value of one, which is one plus one, and we get two. If we plug in 2, well, we're not allowed to plug it into that function. But when we plot points, we kind of need to. Because thinking about this first point, we're at the point 1, 2. Let's keep labeling this on up. 3, 4, 5. So our first point is at 1, 2. And to be able to draw this function, I need to see what the y value would have been. I'm just going to put an open circle there because we're not allowed to plug into to that top piece. If we were allowed to, we'd do the absolute value of 2, which is 2, plus 1, and we'd get 3. But we're going to put an open circle there because the absolute, the actual answer for plugging in 2 is supposed to be 5. So maybe it's been a while since you've graphed any of these. So we're going to say that the point would have been 2, 3. We're not allowed to plug it in though, so we're going to put an open circle. And then we have the real point coming from that bottom piece of the piecewise is 2, 5. And the reason why we do this is because there should be y values for every x value except for 2. So we should be able to plug in 1.9 in 
and we'd plug it in the top here, 1.9, and the absolute value plus 1 would give us 2.9. So we need all the points between 1 and 2. So we'll just put an open circle at specifically 2. Same thing, we'll plug in 3. We'd plug into just the top piece. Absolute value of 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So we'd get the point 3, 4. All right, so here's just zooming in on the graph what we get. Now let's use this graph to take the limit as x goes to 2. So if we approach 2 from the left and from the right, well, we'd hop onto this piece to approach from the left, and we get to about 3 from the left-hand limit, and the right-hand limit is also 3. That one random dot doesn't even matter to the limit. As you come in from the left and the right, you get close to 3. So the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is actually 3. So this is just an illustration to show you that plug in, but it might not give you the right answer to just plug in. So we're going to look at some other methods, um, what we do if we cannot plug in to the function.